Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to what I think is a beautiful Friday the 26th of April. About 46 degrees out here. Hasn't rained in a while. It just has that kind of humid, very comforting feeling to it. Little clouds in the air, birds all carrying on. Water getting everything greener. <laughs> You know, you wonder at some point, is it possible, can it get any greener out here? It's one of my mom loved the Northwest. When she came up here, she goes, oh, it's just like Ireland. She just absolutely loved it. She loved the rain, too. That's what that's what she grew up with as a kid. But anyway, it's Friday. Let's uh, get on to, the, to work and bust that out and start a weekend. I need to do some BRP testing today, though. I've got the master exam that has to be done like ASAP. So I'm going to work on that today if, as long as I haven't filled my schedule up. Anyway, let's roll. 55 degrees and off and on rain. And slow dump trucks and those windmill... Wing things? Yeah. Crazy. Hey. They back up traffic like oh, no man. other. Stressful drive to work. I know. You can't put three lanes down to one without creating chaos. Oh, yeah. But, Mama? Yes, sir. The good part is it's Friday. Yes, it is. All right. Yay. <laughs> Let's get in here busted out and see if I got enough time to try to do that master exam for okay. BRP that's now back. Oh, that was nice for a few years it was gone. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's stressful in itself. Mm -hmm. well, on that, let's roll. Alrighty. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. Love you. Bye bye now. Bye. This is my third attempt today to take this 22 uh, Sea to Sky <laughs> for a rip. I keep getting ready, and then uh, the rain comes pouring down. So I wait a little bit, let the roads dry out a little bit. So I did a 9,300 mile service yesterday and he had a, a host of tidbiddly little things. And um, yeah, something's still not right about that. He, that thing's been whacked. And it knocked this plastic thing out and couldn't get it back. And you can see a paint mark on it. I don't know what he hit and how you hit that and not hit a wheel. Seems kind of weird, but anyway, he was complaining about the, the piece not sitting there, but you can see things are popped out. It's 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 had a an accident of some sort. But uh, anyway, uh, driver's seat shock is sacked. It doesn't hold up. Which seems to be really common. I mean, it, it started doing it right away with the 20s. And here we are, you know, two years later, and it still <laughs> has the problem. And the other one is, he said he's getting a... He's wondering if the ABS has a problem, because he gets front wheel hop. People don't understand that stuff. That's cool. I, I don't make fun of them or nothing. It's just... Yeah, it, if you had an ABS intervention, you probably might get some hop when it's pulsing. Ka -ka -ka -ka. But uh, yeah, the least thing you'd be worried about is a wheel hopping. If you're in a in an intervention situation, <laughs> while the bike's trying to save your hiney. But uh. I'm just going to take it for a quick rip and see if it hops. And another thing he said, the uh, rear suspension bottoms out too often. And I'm assuming he's noticing this with a passenger. Because what I found is the, uh, the ride height sensors were, uh, were not in specs. They were set too low. Oh, why don't I put my face shield down? I think that's just a habit. Get her up to speed here. See if she hobble wobbles. And uh, find some places that are a little bumpy. I, I can already, I already feel it. It rides different. 
if the ride height is set too low, you don't have enough shock to absorb the, the hits. The, uh, the high spot, because you can use the pump and, and get it to go, and the high spot was lower than the, than the low height. So I, I doubt anybody's been in there messing around, so it probably came that, that way from the factory. But we did some adjusting. Man, I remember him coming in, he goes, smoke? He goes, what's the nicest, what's the cream of the crop of the spiders? And that's when we're getting like two or three sea to skies per year. Although we lucked out and ended up with like four of the 21s, including the one I had as a demo. But I think we only got three of these. Of course, that's in 22. The, the crisis was in full swing at that time. But yeah, this thing's smooth as silk. The tires were crazy low on pressure. And it probably been sitting for a bit got her out and the right arm probably probably pulled and set down <laughs> towards the bottom of the tire I'll call some popping for a few miles anyway usually not that long I have it in all my Harleys and when I take off and I hit the highway right away you get a little <laughs> and it stops And the older Sol RTs, the the bars were annoyingly close for me. I like the bars the, like this. The, I, want, I want a little reach to the bars. So I'll I'll kind of I'll ride it in a lazy way. You have no choice but to have your hand on the throttle. But I'll I'll tend to ride with my wrist over, and I just shift from the back side of the shifter. I'm using the downshift button and I do my upshifts and downshifts from the front side. It's easy. Do it all the time. Nice little pond down there. Look at how these trees have filled in nicely. So you know the um, 22 Maybe it's a 23. I think it's a 22 R1200 or 1250 GS. I, I did a service and as a headlight module went bad. So he picks it up, drives it for however long and he comes to the, to the shop earlier this week on Monday or Tuesday. Says, hey, it's doing it again. So the turf driver's up there and he goes, do you want to come up and look at it? I said, I, I don't need to see it. It'll all, I'll see it all in diagnostics when I look at it. So uh, anyway, they shut the thing down. They do a quick write up. It's a warranty thing. And um, he brings the thing downstairs and it's gone. When he booted it back up, the codes had, you know, they weren't active. So the customer, from the customer side, nothing was being displayed. I said, well, that's fine. I, I can see it on diagnostic. Well, it had the same uh, communication errors with the uh, with the headlight module. Now, when the headlight module was bad, it no matter what, it was active, no matter what, until I finally found the the issue. And uh, and diagnostic says, you know, it's test the headlight module. It was a fault with the module, replace the, the module, and test again, you know. Of course, it all went away. And, um, well, lo and behold, I hook it up to diagnostics, and the same codes were there. It's a communication error that, uh, that the bike, the DME, uh, was not reading, not reading the information from the headlight module. So... Went through the action the measures plan and uh, I just want to see if this yeah that's the switch and it's just perfect. That gum water holes everywhere, but I don't think he's too worried about that. It looks like he rides it in the rain. 
a lot <laughs> or it just doesn't get washed I don't know which Ooh, she's spunky too so I pulled everything I pulled the module back out and, and there was a a lind bus that worked because it's being controlled by the uh, you know the high low beam switch that BMWs are always on the front now the spiders are there too the same place it even works the same way Hondas are even doing it that way but uh, anyway um, did a test on the on the lind bus because the controllers in the left hand switch now on those BMWs the lind bus controller and uh, yeah no fault there's, there's nothing wrong anywhere so I got a little trick you're not supposed to use dielectric grease on those on those whoa on those couplers because you can uh, it's such a tight fit that it can hydraulic um, the pins out because you, if you use the water, waterproof connectors you'll know they you know they squeak in air sometimes they're hard to plug back in because they capture so much air but it bleeds past the little waterproof seal water and dust proof or technically resistance nothing's truly waterproof but um anyway I got a way I got this little thing that I use and I lightly wet the pins well BMW number one's got a little cleaner tool that, that they run down that cleans the uh, pins so I did that and you know make sure I blow it out no no dust or anything in there from that and I just lightly I just dampen the pins with dielectric grease not enough to cause any kind of hydraulics or any kind of issues and um, I've multiple times I've had a you know a reoccurring connection issue and just wetting that thing down was the uh, was the key I like it when people are running super gas you don't hear that bang when you roll on the throttle well I'm I'm back <laughs> taking this uh the GS with the uh with the headlight for a quick little rip take her down some bumpy roads see if I can get it to do anything weird he has got some frighteningly bald 50-50 tires I assume they're 50-50s <laughs> so you always, if you got something like that make sure you don't have any steady uh, traction control or ABS lights that means you turn the ABS indoor traction control off nice guy to warn you that he's gonna pull over good old boy I'll take her down some little rough stuff here and there <laughs> from sprinkles to sunshine just that quick so apparently it's triggered on him a, a couple of times but it looks like it only happened once a two for today what I work on BMWs and spiders I'm gonna give you a little of both today this road itself is getting pretty rough I'm, I'm just purposely hitting all the potholes I wonder if you're gonna do something weird or jiggle joggle something I want to want it to do it while I'm on oh why weren't you guys paying attention you guys let me fall right into that one well wow, I haven't done that in a long time I wonder how, how many of you were going no 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 <laughs> I take this so often you guys probably know the cracks in the road and see my boy 
in a while. I used to see them when it's, when it's a nice warm day. You must enjoy the warmth and get out. And little let a little breeze blow through his hair, you know. For a second there, I thought that Lexus was literally in my lane. Two for Tuesday was on Friday this week. day's been beautiful sunshine then sideways rain but it's nice and windy out there out here so it's a uh, it dries it up really quick my boys left early on Friday this week I watch <laughs> I watch it green moss especially with these slick tires these things do an amazing amazing job with uh with dealing with that stuff but even with all that safety hoorah stuff you can get yourself in trouble you're messing around taking a two for ride today that's kind of fun wish I knew what caused that thing to uh, wake them codes back up again but I can't if there's nothing wrong I, I mean what do I do what do I replace I can't put a three thousand dollar headlight in it this BMW is gonna go look at what I checked and say uh, yeah no we're going to charge you back for that. <laughs> so, anyway. Thanks for coming along for, uh, for two rides today. Cool. That's a, way to, that's a way to have a Friday. Well, hello there, you two. There's the blue skies right there in front of us. And it's raining on us. <laughs> I know. Man, that was a downpour coming home. We were down to 40 miles an hour. And just driving like we're... Going to a little like a lake. A lake. Yeah. Yeah, just pound just water flying off the sides. Everybody is like hitting their brakes and please don't hit us. Yeah, it's crazy. Boy, where two oh five and I five meet, there there was multi there was a chain yeah. reaction out there. Police and cars. Like five or six. Yeah. Yeah. It's bang bang bang. But uh, anyway. Got two rides in today. Well, Sometimes you get more than that, but I got two of them recorded anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'll work out. I have no idea. I haven't sat down even look at any of that. So, but for the next rain bout knocks us out here, we're gonna call it call it a week and start our weekend. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Saturday or something. Thank you. All right. Thanks see for watching. We'll see you then. Bye bye now.